Okay, so first up we have my World Eaters, and so this is a fairly straightforward Corn Berserker army. So we've got Khan, we've got Angron who's filling in for a Chaos Lord with a Power Sword. Eight Corn Berserkers, Champion's got a Power Fist and Plasma Pistol. Two Plasma Pistols, a few Chain Axes and stuff in there. They've got the Icon of Wrath. Then another squad of eight Berserkers. They've got a character with Plasma Pistol and Power Axe. They've got some Chain Axes and Icon of Wrath. Third Berserker squad, Champion with Power Fist. Two guys with Plasma Pistols. Only a couple of Chain Axes in there. Icon of Wrath again. We've got a Chaos Space Marine squad at the back. Um, they've got a Champion with Power Sword. Two Plasma Pistols and an Icon of Wrath. We've got a six-man Havoc squad with four missile launchers. Hellbrute with Twin Linked, Laz Cannon and Power Fist. Two Rhinos with Combi Belters. Sorry, just Combi Bolters, not Combi Melters. One Chaos Vindicator and one Land Raider. Now, we'll spin around the other side of the table and Stan will take us through what he's got in his Adeptus Mechanicum. Alrighty, -o. well I start with uh, Belisarius Call here. Um, I also have a Tech Priest Dominus way over here. I don't know if you want to... Yeah. Um, I have a unit of Cataphron Breaches with Arc Rifles, four of them, and an Arc Claw. A unit of Cataphron Destroyers with Heavy Grave Cannons and uh, Cognus Flamers. Um, uh, this is the okay. I have a unit of Skatari Rangers here. They have galvanic rifles, uh, and three of them have plasma culverins. A unit of Skatari Vanguard. They all have radium carbines. Both the Alphas actually have an arc maul and an arc pistol. Um, Sicarian Rust Stalkers um, and. Uh, Sicarian Infiltrators, they have power swords and stub carbines. Two Castellan robots with Incendine Combustors uh, and Heavy Phosphor Blasters, two each. Uh, a Data Smith. Two Onager Dune Crawlers, one with a Neutron Laser, one with an Icarus Array. A Sidonian Dragoon with a Taser Lance and a Tech Priest Engine Seer. Alrighty. And so this is our table over here. Stan's going to be deploying on the close side, I'm on the far side, and the mission we're playing is No Mercy, and we're just doing the generic uh, 12 inches back from the center deployment. Okay, so here we are at the end of deployment. So I've got my missile launcher Havocs up here in the tower with good line of sight to everything. We've got two rhinos full of berserkers with the Chaos Lord in front, with a land raider full of berserkers, with um, Khan in behind, the mob of Chaos Space Marines here, Vindicator, and the Hellbrute with absolutely nothing on the left hand flank because I just don't have enough units to get there. So over on Stan's side is Rust Stalkers. Rust Stalkers, the Breaches, or the Destroyers, one of the two, keep yep. forgetting them. Uh, my unit of uh, Rangers, a Dune Crawler with the Neutron Cannon, um, the engine C is down there, the Breachers, Sidonian Dracoon, Castellan Robots, Data Smiths just in behind, my unit of Vanguard, my Tech Priest Dominus, Belisarius Call, what are you doing over there Sunshine? Get back to work. And um, my other Dune Crawler. Uh, the Dune Crawler, alright, so I've got first turn unless Stan can seize. I think I shall. Stan thought wrong, that's five. So, we'll come back to you after the first turn for the World Eaters. I have a feeling that everything's going to rev their chain swords and pretty much charge forth. Okay, bottom of World Eaters turn one. The Havocs put three crack missiles into the Sargonian Dragoon and blew that up. My two Rhinos popped their smoke launchers to hopefully try and survive the uh, large amount of anti-vehicle firepower sitting over there. The land speeder killed two of the uh, breaches, or the whatever those uh, track robots guys over there are. The vindicator fired and failed damage the Carson robots, and then my hellbrute hit one last cannon shot into the Onaga Dune Crawler and put six wounds on it. 
So we just have to do a battle shock test over here on your destroyers. So I've taken two and one D6. Oh, that's right. One D6. Alright, that's a four, which the leadership is definitely better than. So we're gonna head over to Stan's turn one, um, where there's gonna be a lot of firepower coming back my way. Two right there is. So here we are at the bottom of Stan's turn one. So guys moved out from behind cover here, and pretty much everything on this side of the table fired at this rhino, who is remarkably still alive with a mighty one wound left. Uh, Stan's rust stalkers, or no, sorry, infiltrators, popped out down here, killed a couple of my guys with shooting, and then charged. My guys killed uh, one in overwatch, and killed another one in close combat, but they've taken six wounds. Vindicator got fired at by everything over here, and is unscratched. And the Hellbrute uh, took shots from all three variants of the Icarus Array, um, and suffered a wound. So. We're down to battle shock phase down here. So my guys have taken six dead models. So six plus two is eight. So I don't take any additional wounds for battle shock. Stan has lost two. Yes. Yep. So two plus two is four. Stan doesn't take any battle shock either. So we're going to head on into my turn two. Okay. So bottom of my turn two. The Havocs fired at the Onager Dune Caller, hit it four times and failed to wound it all four times, which was quite hilarious. Then the Las Cannons and Heavy Bolter from the Land, sorry, the land Raider, they blew it up. Um, we had a bit, of, bit more shooting into the unit of Rangers on the wall, um, took out about four or five of those. Uh, put some wounds on the Breacher Squad here as well. Um, then all these guys wargarbled their way into a charge. We'll come back to that in a sec. Over here, I think I put one wound on the infiltrators with uh, pistol shots, which was cool. My Vindicator missed again, so he kind of sucks this game. Uh, but my Hellbrute made it up for it, because he fired twice, hit twice, and did a total of 11 wounds on the Junkle over there, blowing that up. And then an Assault, my Rhino went in first. Uh, to absorb the overwatch fire um, and then the berserker squad next to them butchered the rangers consolidated three inches towards the breaches who are over here my chaos lord went in first to try and tank the overwatch fire uh, he took two wounds but then rolled a four to see how far he could charge so he was short which meant that my other squad had to go up against the overwatch fire again they made it in and they killed all the breaches uh, but they are just an inch or so away from being able to continue on the combat with the Dove Smith back there. So we'll head into Stan's turn two. Okay, so Stan's counterattack was pretty brutal. So the robots here, they moved up and put six wounds on my Berserker squad in the ruins. Um, this charge over here came in, killed six of my guys. Uh, my guys fought back twice, and even with Power Fist in there, could only do one wound on the Rust Stalkers, so they're probably going to be pretty dead. Nope, they're loving it. Hanging in there. Somehow. Alright, uh, these guys here, they took six wounds. Six plus five, that takes them to eleven. And I'll just look up their leadership. Okay, so that was a total of eleven. They've got leadership eight, so they lose three more, so they're dead. The Rhino, he didn't take any wounds, so he's fine. And down over here, I lost five, plus two is seven. Their leadership seven because of the Neural Disruptors, so they are loving it. Now Stan lost one, he can't fail on leadership seven. No, correct. Just the Primes left, so he is all good. So we're heading on in, oh, we had a little bit of shooting over here. The Elimination Beam put a couple of wounds on the Dreadnought. So we're going to be heading into my turn three, and this is when a lot of stuff is going to die. Stan says my stuff, I think it's going to be everybody's stuff. Okay, so bottom of my turn three, uh, my Chaos Lord charged in here, killed a couple of the Rust Stalkers, uh, which let the Berserkers survive and kill the rest of them. Over here we've had two sets of fight phases from the Corn Berserker Squad and Khan. Took out one Carson robot, 
and I lost one guy to a Khan attack. So my battle shock phase, I pass. Stan, Stan so passes too. Over here, my guys, I lost a guy, um, and Stan hasn't lost any, so I've got a battle shock here, which we pass. And Mr. Halbert over here missed with his shots, missed with his attacks, and took a couple of wounds from the axe. Uh, but he's a hell brute, so he don't care. Um, only thing else was all my shooting piled into the Cataphron breaches and took out a couple of them. And my Vindicator rolled a 1 on his d6 to hit the uh, rangers up in that building and then proceeded to miss. So Mr. Vindicator is very much getting benched after this game because he kind of sucks. Alright, so here we are at the end of Stan's turn 4, we think. I think at the end of turn 4. Um, the Cataphron Breaches uh, fired at the Vindicator, didn't wound it, um, and then charged it, it missed its overwatch. They put four wounds on it, and it turned around in close combat and crushed one of them a little bit doing a wound. That's the first wound it's actually inflicted in the game. The little Rust Stalker down here, he killed the last of the Chaos Marines here. Over here, my lord got killed by the power fist of the tech priest. Uh, but he was then uh, bashed to smithereens by my power fist. So he's gone. They, that squad didn't take any wounds, so they're loving it. Khan got wound, wounded by the robots, um, but him and his buddies next to him took out uh, the engine seer, or the tech priest over here, plus the robots. Um, I've taken two wounds on these guys, or lost two models this turn, but I have a leech of eight. Let's roll a six, which I don't. We're all good there. And over here we saw fall back in action for the first time. So the tech priest there fell back to enable call to uh, blow up my halberd there. So he's dead. He didn't explode. So. That is the end of turn four, it's rolling on into my turn five. Okay, so my turn five, my rhino on one wound left, uh, came around the corner, it was mighty three inches, blazed away on the rust stalker and killed him. The four missile launchers in here fired at the rangers down the back. Now only three of them were in range, uh, but thanks to D6 shots per missile launcher, there's a total of 14 shots. Um, which only ended up actually doing four wounds, uh, unsaved wounds in the end, but still, mass missile launches are pretty nuts. Um, we had some more shooting from the combi boulders here, and from the las from the land raider, and I think he ended up killing about six of them. Yes, six. Killed six of them. All right, so that's a battle shock test. So six plus one, oh, seven. That's still fine. They're still fine. They're loving it. Well, I don't know about loving it. Uh, Khan and his buddies charged in here and uh, murderized. Uh, Khan killed one of his own boys, but they can't fail their Battleshock test. So that's the end of my turn five. So Stan's got a couple of models left over here, and my numbers are looking pretty depleted. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so end of Stan's turn five. Um, Call and his engine seer buddy and the guys inside, they all moved up to blaze away at the Rhino. They put a total of eight wounds onto it. Um, and they also killed a couple of my guys here, but there's only two, and my leadership's eight, so I can't fail the test. So now we're gonna roll a dice to see if the game continues. Yes. The game continues. Okay, so quick turn five. Uh, everything moved up to try and assault. I put a lot of firepower into the Rangers, killed the last of them. And then my land speeder fired one of his shots at call and couldn't get him. Uh, my rhino charged in, didn't do any wounds, um, didn't get wounded on overwatch, which is good. But then my guys back here, because there's an obstacle in the middle, which makes us half our charge distance, they couldn't actually get into close combat, which is a little bit sad. Because what I wanted to do was have the rhino soak up the overwatch fire, have these guys charge the um, tech priest Dominus, kill him, and then consolidate into call and hopefully kill him as well but instead they're sitting out here ready to be solar atomized so we're heading on to stands turn five okay so we have the fight between call and khan 
So he's hit him three at minus two AP, so three invulnerable saves. Pass one, so he takes two more wounds. And then he's got to pass five armor saves to survive and be able to fight back. He loses his last two, so he's dead without Woo! being able to fight back. Call is an absolute baller in close combat, it looks like. All right, um, so that's the end of Stan's turn. No, he's still no, no, the engine combat. priest has still got to go. Yeah. Um, so tech priest dominus, three attacks. Yep. So three attacks on the yeah. rhino who's got one wound left. Yeah, omniscient X, which is plus one. Mm. One hit. One hit. Fails to wound. Three, four. Okay. All right, rhino hitting back with his mighty one attack. Oh, which hits. <laughs> And wounds. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, no, and is saved. Alright. So, do we have another turn after this? Or does uh, it finish turn six? Five and a six again. End no, of the game. End of the game. Good Excellent work, Stan. Game, so, that. a quick tally up. I've got Line Breaker over here. I got First Blood. Stan got Kill the Warlord. And I think. I am pretty safe in that I've got more victory points for <laughs> units left alive. So I've got 12 kill points. Plus, plus the two, so you got 14 victory points. So yeah, I've got 14 victory points. Stands on about five, <laughs> something around there, just because I didn't have many units to begin with. So what were your thoughts, Stan, on 8th edition? I liked it. I liked it. I, I like seeing models come off the table. Um, so yeah, it's good. And Call is still a beast in close combat. So, yeah, I'm pleased about that. I wasn't I wasn't expecting him to be throwing two d six additional attacks with his uh, hive of Doctor Octopus arms. Um, so my army did what it what it does. It points and clicks at something and charges it in close combat. Um, I ground through a lot, but took a lot of casualties. Um, the infiltrating um, Sakarians at the back here they uh, took out a two hundred forty point unit, so they got about twice their points cost worth. Um, Khan did a very good job with his re-rolls um, for the squad that he was buffing up so that really helped them get through the robots and stuff but in general the world eaters did what they're supposed to they charged stuff, killed stuff um, and there's a couple of them left alive at the end which is which is always good disappointment with the Vindicator uh, the only wound he did all game pretty much was in uh, close combat which is hilarious um, and Halbert, whose shooting was really good, but then he flubbed attacks against the Tech Priest Dominus, who really should have uh, beaten up. So, Stan, who was your MVP? Uh, my MVP was actually the uh, Sarge there, because he was, uh, the, or the, they don't call him a Sarge, but the Sarge equivalent that uh, was responsible for taking out that unit that you had there. Yeah, yeah, so it was a, a good game. This was 2,000 points. Um, I'm really enjoying these rules. Um, it's the most fun I've had with 40k since third edition, and it's also actually making a lot more sense than that. So, having vehicles charging into close combat, it seems a little bit counterintuitive at the start, but uh, once you actually start using it, it makes a lot of sense. And the toughness, wounds, and armor saves characteristics for them are much better than the old armor values. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.